What's up guys, Jake Larmy from Singular Agronomics here again. Today we're out spreading some dry humate. We get a lot of questions asked sometimes, you know, what's dry humate cost per acre? Where's, what's my return on investment? Where's my money going? And today we're gonna hit on a couple of reasons of where we justify that expense. The first place that we're looking to get a return on our humate application is we're going back to the benefits of dry humate where we're mimicking organic matter. We're looking for better nutrient efficiency, better nutrient uptake in the plants and how we're achieving that by adding carbon to the soil taking care of our microbial life. Once our microbial life is healthy and happy, they begin cycling nutrients better for us, and then we can start to reduce our reliance on added inputs in that realm. So the next place that we're looking to get a return out of our humate applications is in the water holding capacity realm, going back to the benefits of dry humate that we talked about earlier. Um, we're looking, like in this instance, irrigated farms. So we're, as we're putting this down, we're looking for that water holding capacity benefit to stretch out irrigations, get the most in between passes, and then wait for rain events. Same thing goes for dry land farms or on an irrigated sense. The less we irrigate, the less money we put down per acre and the more profit that's left for us at the end of the season. Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. We've got a whole lot more on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. We put a ton of content on there that's, that's useful and have applicable information to help on your farms and day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, hop over there. If you want more information, check us out there.